welcome Nikki from Edgas and Ryan from VML YNR. And, and firstly, a huge congratulations for producing one of the top three best like ads in, uh, in the country. There's no mean feat. So congratulations. And starting with you, firstly, I mean, what does this mean for the business? I mean, Ivan, it's, it's really great to hear that the ad had such an impact. Um, I must say, we had started on a journey to revive and reposition the Edgar's brand. And what we really wanted to do was shift consideration. Over time, Edgar's had lost relevance, and we really needed to reconnect with the market and the consumer. So, you know, we started our first brand marketing campaign in several years, and yeah. we took our new positioning to the market, which was Own the Look. And the results have really been impressive. I mean, what was really encouraging was 65% of consumers who saw the commercial said that they now see Edgar's differently and that they would reconsider the brand. And that's really what we wanted to achieve. We wanted people to notice something different from Edgar's. Um, but, you know, who would have thought that COVID would have had such a severe impact on the market? Yeah, look, I think um, for me, it's always all about the work. I think the the awards are, are great to prove the work. And in this case, you know, really fantastic to prove that what we set out to do with a, a 90 year old uh, a brand was uh, was successful in achieving what it what it set out to do. So, you know, when we we really actively repositioned Edgar's to say, you know, it's about inspiring self expression in yeah. every South African, you know, in everyone. We set out to really reconnect the brand to culture, and and reinvigorate this ninety year old uh, kind of brand. And and that's just amazing to hear that it resonated with the market. That it really you know, did connect with people, did uh, reposition the brand and, and did make them reconsider what it was all about. So it's fantastic to hear that that really uh, sort of achieved what we set out to do, which was very ambitious at the time as yeah. well. You know? So we wanted to, to feel like it's everyone's wardrobe. You know, we don't want to tell you how to dress or what to be, but to go and be 100% of yourself 100% of the time and come in and put things together, as, as Nikki said, own the look, you know, own your own look, your own style, and, and put it together in your own way of expressing yourself. And Nikki, you touched on it before about in terms of not having done a brand ad for such a long time. And I suppose in your space, it's always a difficult one, right? I mean, do you invest in brand building or take that budget and just invest in getting the merchandise of the floor? And because, I mean, many businesses do not have the luxury of doing bait. Was it a tough, tough decision to, to, to take that route of more brand focus more than retail? To be honest, Arvin, it, it was so necessary and important for the brand. And I think that's the challenge is, you know, some marketers see it as two separate things. And the reality yes. is our relaunch campaign wasn't just about advertising because advertising alone, cannot shift brands. And I think that's what's so critical for people to understand is, you know, we had to enhance our in-store experience also, and everything had to shift. So we saw yes. improved service levels. We saw visual merchandising stories, um, you know, better merchandising, better product. So the combination of all of that is really what achieved the brand relaunch. It's not just about the advertising investment. And I think that's what's important was also getting everyone in the organization behind this brand campaign and this brand yeah. relaunch. And it was about getting people to believe in the brand again um, and seeing that success. So I think that's really critical. But yeah, we always feel that in the best work, you know, that it's it's taking things and and making people connect with it in their in their hearts and minds, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think with this as well, we we really uh, wanted to turn Edgar's into a connected brand. So every touch point uh, starts to reprove what what the brand stands for. So whether it's the store, the store window, the online experience, or the brand ad, um, it all sort of. Uh, it's not matching the luggage, but it's got the same soul in a way, and of and course. that really started to to work very well for it, and and really collaborate with culture at every touch point. What are some of the key things that also, I mean, influence to end up uh, producing this kind of magic? Well, I mean, I I think it's it's having an aligned vision. I mean, we we said. Um, 
after we won the, the Can Award with this, um, you know, that it feels like our brand team and the Edgar's brand team are just an extension of each other. Um, and I think that was really true. Uh, we had a, a common goal, you know, and, and that was really to to relaunch the brand and, and as a something to reconsider. I see Ryan and VML as an extension of my marketing team, and I have absolutely no doubt. I think our strong collaboration and also our deep passion for the brand is what resulted yes. in this success. Um, and the reality is, you know, you it's so important to build a strong agency relationship, but you've got to trust your agency if you want to do standout work. Well done to, to both of you. It's a beautiful piece of work, and it's the kind of work that I can even look at with my mom. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the t- thanks for the time. Much appreciated.